morning everyone and welcome back to the session i think there are enough members to start the session once again so now we will be discussing sbi main refresher so let's get started with the questions because today we have a lot on our plate we'll uh, be discussing error spotting a lot of questions on error spotting we'll also be doing a reading comprehension uh, appropriate word substitution so on and so forth okay so we have a lot and one para jumble as well so let's begin with the session so this is our first question I will just read the direction for those who have not solved question like this before in the question in the given questions there is a sentence given which is divided into five parts labeled as a b c d e there will be grammatical errors in any two parts not just one two parts of the sentence from the options choose the pair which contains error so you're supposed to choose the options which have error okay should not get confused with the options that do not have error okay so let's start uh, but the election of number of mr zuma's supporters to the anc top executive in last month's organizational poll may have put page to such hopes even if their populist program will constricting mr ramposa pragmatic approach on the economy before the 2019 popular vote so where is the error and what is the error now since this is the first one let me do it for you and from the next one onwards you will be telling me the error and i will just be telling you if there is any explanation i will be giving you the explanation so let's look at the first half of the statement but the elections of number of mr zumas now i clearly mentioned in in the previous session and also that was your doubt clarification session that whenever we use number of numbers of and number of now if we look at the statement i told in this case since we are using number of so we have found an error in statement 1 now let's look at the rest of the statement to the anc top executive in the last month's organization poll may have put paid what is the meaning of put paid put paid to is another phrase which means to mark something it can be a bill your answer moving on to the next question his victory intensified speculation over the early exited of the beleaguered mr zuma who has been embroiled in an allegation of high profile corruption that predates their presidential tenure since 2009 the early exited of beleaguered what is the meaning of beleaguer it basically means to put someone in a tough spot or a difficult spot okay or a difficult situation who has been embroiled in allegations what is the meaning of embroiled basically completely involve or deeply involve in an argument or a conflict or a difficult situation okay so predate their presidential tenure since 2009 so where is the error in this one now most of the options if you see two options starts with b and two options start with a so let's look at a first his victory intensified speculation over is it right yes speculation over till there it is absolutely fine okay uh, the early exited of early exit of we will again use the first form that is sorry we will again use the first form that is the base form uh, early exit of the beleaguered mr zuma who has one person okay his victory okay so this is the mr zuma to act on that recommendation inside a month inside a month we never say inside a month we say within a month wrong preposition used so b definitely has an error even as it characterized the delay as tantamount what is the meaning of tantamount it means equal to equal okay so equal to. okay so obedience constitutional duties and now so where is the error the delay as tantamount to equal to disregard or regarding so the error is definitely in 
B and D. Again, B and D. Moving on to the next question. Where is the error and what is the error? The most speculator of Mr. Zuma's controversial link involves state capture, a cryptic description of the strategic connection between the president's family and the mining and media empire in the now notorious Gupta brothers. Notorious is nothing but someone who's infamous, infamous for infamous, yeah. The most spectacular of Mr. Zuma's controversial links, links involve the most spectacular. We are referring to one, okay? So it cannot be involved, it should be involves. The verb that we should use uh, sh should agree with the subject and the subject is singular so we will be using involves. State capture, a cryptic description of the strategic connection between the president's family and the mining and media empire in the now notorious Gupta brothers. So where is the uh, the other error? So definitely there is an error in one. So you cancel out three, four and five. Now is the error in the C statement or D statement is your question, okay? So where is the other error? One, okay. Yes, one will be the answer is C does not have any error. The strategic connections between the president's family and the mining and media empire in the now notorious, in the now notorious or of the now notorious, of the now, the preposition that is used is wrong, empire. It cannot be in the now notorious. It has to be of the now notorious Gupta brothers, okay? So one is the right answer. Moving on to the next question. A ruling by South Africa's constitutional court at Friday. Okay, at Friday, we all know that for days of the week, we use on. On Friday, not at Friday. So one definitely has an error. This, was, this one was easy, I guess, to identify. December 29th, the parliament should uh, putting in place a mechanism for Jacob Zuma's removal in a judicial setback for the president. Where is the error? The rest of the error. So again, 3, 4 and 5 will be eliminated. Now again, the question lies between C and D. Let's see, C, putting in place a mechanism that the parliament should put in place, not putting in place. Again, the error is of the same type of error, put in place a mechanism for Jacob Zuma's removal in a judicial setback, is a judicial setback for the president. So definitely the error is in C, so two uh, A and C has error, so two becomes the right, correct choice. Next question. Tales of how Gupta's concerned lucrative state. What is the meaning of the word lucrative? So something that lucrative state as in very productive state or um, you can say producing, producing a great deal of profit. Okay. That is the meaning of lucrative uh, state contracts and even influence ministerial appointments in their adopted home were recently recounted before were recent recounted before the UK House of Lords of veteran anti campaigner Peter Hain. Where is the error? Okay, tales of how Gupta's con con okay, cornered, not concerned, sorry, cornered lucrative state contracts. Gupta's, okay, so this is a special title given to a group of people. So the article the is missing over here. Whenever there is one single thing that we are talking or is only one uh, or we are spe uh, specifying brothers or franchise or um, any of that we use the as the preceding article. Okay. Tales of how the Gupta brothers cornered lucrative state contracts and even influenced ministerial appointments in their adopted home were, were recently counted before okay where is the next error i think i gave it away home were what were they recently recounted before the uk 
House of Lords and by veterans and antipathy campaigner Peter Hain. So definitely there is an error in C and definitely there is an error in A. So A and C again option number two becomes the right answer recently. Yes, you're right Nagar. Next one. See if you can solve this one. Who was okay? Uh, the potentially premature end to his candle plagued tenure will also being a political blow for Cyril Ramposa. Ramposa, yes, the deputy president who sorry those who was elected leader of the Af African National Congress at the party's conference last month. So definitely, also, uh, okay. Let's look at the first half, the potential premature end to his scandal plague tenure will, okay, this part is correct, also be a political blow. It should not be being, it should be be. So for these, solving these questions, you have to be very good at your tenses. Political blow for Cyril Ramposa, um, the deputy president, those was elected. Is it right? Those was, it should be, who was elected okay so again the answer is a and c has error oh yeah it it should be b and c not a and b i'm so sorry b and c third one yes okay this is the uh, this is the next one the latest verdict is a sequel to the court's unanimous 2016 ruling when they held that Mr. Zuma's refusal to reimburse the state as per the 2014 recommendation of the country's public protector was inconsistency with the constitution. Alright, let's see. The latest verdict is a sequel to the uh, court's unanimous 2016 ruling when they held that Mr. Zuma's refusal. When they held? When they held? We are talking about court's unanimous ruling. Okay, ruling cannot be they, it has to be it. When it held that Mr. Zuma's refusal to reimburse the state as per the 2014 recommendation of the country's public protector was inconsistent, not inconsistency, it should be inconsistent with the constitution. So the error is in definitely in d and b yes moving on to the next question the majority rule that parliament have parliament had because the next word is failed so parliament had failed not have failed the parliament parliament had failed to hold mr zuma to account for the use of millions of rands of public funds to upgrade his rural home in kandala kandala in his native province kwazulu natal natal he used the funds to watch to upgrade not upgraded use the funds to upgrade his rural home in kandala okay so it should be the error is in C and there is an error in definitely in A. So A and C becomes the right answer. Rest everything is wrong. A and C, yes. Moving on to the last question of error spotting. Perhaps buttress the protects for trial on. Perhaps first what is the meaning of buttress? Okay, buttress is just a support. Okay, we are using it as a verb over here. So as a verb, as a noun, it means uh, generally pillars have a buttress that is used for support. So when you're using it as a verb, it, make a, it becomes a support system. Okay, so it becomes as a support. Okay, to provide support. So it should be, since we are using it as a verb, it should be perhaps buttressing. Okay, ing again tenses related error over here. So mostly the errors that we did today were either prepositional errors or tenses related error. So A definitely has an error. So then 3, 4 and 5 gets cancelled. Now we have to see whether there is an error in C or D. The removing of country's chief prose uh, prosecutor Azuma appointee ordered the removing, the removal. 
the removal of country's chief prosecutor uh, Zuma appointee. So it should be again two. All right. So the next section that we are going to talk about is fill in the blanks with the words that are given in the option. Pretty easy one. Let's quickly go through it and see how much of it can we solve. Okay. So I'll just quickly read the direction. In each of the question given below, a sentence is given with one blank. Below each sentence, four words are given out which two can fit the sentence. Five options are given with various combination of these words. You have to choose the combination with the correct set of words which can fit in the given sentence. So you have to choose uh, two words that can fit in one blank. Two words. Not just one out of the five options or four options that are given, okay? Oh, five combinations are given. Okay, so let's see the combinations. Let's see what fits in the best. The process of dash legislation for road safety has been in the making for the past four years. Has been in the making. It has been in the process of making, okay? The process of dash legislation. Legislation on for road safety, okay? So, suggesting legislation? No. Announcing legislation again not we are trying to introduce Yes uh, The process of announcing legislation for road safety It can be an announcement that we are looking for it can be an introduction that has not been introduced It has still been in the making for the past four years. So C yes B yes prefacing prefacing is the introducing So, so the correct word would be announcing or introducing okay? Uh, prefacing it okay prefacing is not exactly introducing the introduction of a story okay so the right answer would be b and c third one is the right answer moving on to the next question for long scientists have been dashed by the fact that long strands of dna apparently have no real function okay now this i question i clearly remember we did discuss this before and the Problem that came up, uh, cropped up uh, the last time was, cropped up the last time was, uh, I'm so sorry, the problem that popped up the last time was confused and puzzling. Now, puzzling is uh, shocking, okay? Confusing, on the other hand, is just something that puts you in a dilemma, okay? So, that's why it should not be confused, okay? For long, scientists have been what? They have been surprised, they have been shocked, okay? They have been astonished, they have been astonished, they have been puzzled, okay? They have been puzzled by the fact that long strands of DNA apparently have no real function. Not confused, okay? It should be astonished and puzzled. A and B. So one is the right answer. So basically the sentence is saying that scientists have been uh, shocked by the fact that uh, long strands of DNA do they actually do not have any real function so this is very perplexing this is a surprising um, discovery that they actually do not have any apparent reason to be there so it should be astonishing as well as puzzling it cannot be confusing uh, it cannot be doubtful okay A and B moving on to the next one for the BJP, while winning the state may not be very dashed to its overall dominance at present, losing it may have ominous significance. Okay, so winning might not be a very something, very important or essential, but losing may be ominous, may be of ominous, uh, may have an ominous sequence. Sorry, significance. So which one would you uh, use? Very urgent? Definitely not. While winning the state it may not be very dash to their overall. So what should be the right answer for this one? We are talking about importance over here. So how important or how essential it is. Okay, so it not be may not be very essential. Okay, so one is definitely essential. So essential and crucial they are synonyms of each each other. Both means important so it not be very important it's not a matter of in urgency it is a matter of whether it is important or not okay so it should be either essential or crucial b or d that is the fifth one 
okay if you look at the keyword there's this this word that is used it's called significance okay so uh, how significant or not significant it is that's what we are talking about and that comes to the if you look at the word significance it is mostly focused on whether it is important or not important okay keeping that in mind it should be essential as well as crucial okay so these are the words that you can replace important with so it should be option number five and not two of two it should not be two I hope this is clear moving on to the next question influential corporate groups have dashed the judiciary's independence have what the influential corporate groups okay so this is a group which has somehow affected the judiciary's independence okay so they have made an impact on the judiciary's independence so which one would you say is the right answer have curved the see curved is definitely not the right answer it cannot be curved okay have falsified melted again is not something that you will use uh, when you're comparing what effect someone has on someone else it cannot be a melting effect it cannot be a curved effect it can be a distorted or a falsified effect what is the meaning of uh, if we look at the meaning of both the words that also helps uh, both are correct why because they both mean to mispresent okay or deform okay they have deformed the judiciary's independence so the right and the right answer should be a and c that is option four moving on to the next question as the consequence of the historic press conference of the four senior most judges of the Supreme Court play out, a constant dash that has been heard is of the need to resolve differences internally. A constant dash that has been heard. A constant what? What would be the answer for this one? Okay. A constant... Okay. As the consequences of historic press conference of the four senior most judges of the Supreme Court play out, a constant dash that has been heard is of the need to resolve the differences interne internally. So what are they constantly trying to, are they trying to forego with it? No, constant refrain or abstain. So basically stopping someone or something from doing something is refrain or abstain. So they have been constantly abstaining from um, resolving their differences or uh, completely refraining from resolving their differences okay so the answer should be b or c they both are synonyms if you put stop here sweetheart shraddha if you put stop no not shraddha i think anil uh, constant stop that has been heard that is not grammatically correct okay so it should be two or two b and c b or c okay so this was the end of the these type of questions now we will be moving on to reading comprehension so i will quickly ask you to skim through the passage i will be reading along with you if there are any words that i find is difficult i will explain you the meaning but you quickly have to go through it because we will be discussing questions very fast on the passage okay once you read the passage then question solving should not be difficult so try skimming through it as fast as possible so here's the passage let's go the subject good governance good governance is both topical and timely it is an, it is an axiom okay what is the meaning of axiom it is like a principle okay of political science that a state comes into being for life but it exists for good life the deputy sorry the duty of the state is not only to protect life and liberty but goes further to enable the people to live in a measure of physical and mental comfort democracy is a government by the citizens themselves uh, the people should realize that they are responsible for choosing the right and proper person to represent them in national affairs in colonial administration, the government was different from the people. Those governments ruled but without the consent and concurrence. Okay, concurrence uh, we will be discussing since it is in bold, we will be discussing the word in future. 
of the people. This old concept still persists in the masses today. They do not realize that the general election is the occasion for them to choose a government for themselves. On the contrary, the masses feel that the franchise is a patronage. A patronage. What is the meaning of patronage? Basically, sponsorship. To be conferred, conferred, granted on their kith and kin. Kith and kin is, uh, it means relatives or the local candidate or one of their caste and religious fraternity. Fr fraternity is nothing, okay. Again, we will be discussing the word. In mature democracies, a person who changes his party affiliation or crosses the flow seldom gets re-elected by the electorate. They do not trust him to stand firm by policies and programs proposed by him. In India, a person who was in the Congress government and immediately thereafter in the Janta government and then in Chandrasekhar government was re-elected and came once again in the Congress government. The electorate votes for a criminal or a corrupt, corrupt candidate and bemoans that the country has a bad government and bemoans that the country has a go bad government. The electorate does not realize that even as it contributes to its own household expenditure, it has to contribute to the country's governance. It is easily misled by the unscrupulous promises of uh, political parties for of free food, free clothes, free electricity, free everything. Even enlightened people plead for tax concession, subsidi uh, subsidies and incentives ob oblivious, again we will be discussing the word, oblivious of the fact that they are met by borrowing which in turn imposes burden indirectly on themselves. Beside, in a true democracy, the people voluntarily observe the laws rules and regulations as they are forged by themselves in the interest of good governance. It is only because 90% of the people abide by the laws and 10% transgress. What is the meaning of transgress or transgressing? Go beyond the limits of or you can also say spread over um, them that the state is uh, able to maintain order and harmony. If the situation were reversed with 90% trans transgressing the law and 10% abiding by it, there can be no organized society, no peace and no harmony. Some of the advanced countries, notably Switzerland, have perhaps the highest degree of compliance. A mere board stating that the road is closed will be complied, by, will be complied with by uh, almost 100% of the people. So very easy passage. I hope all of you read the passage. Uh, Shraddha, uh, melted will not be the right option. Distorted is deformed, okay? But melted is something that goes from solid, being in a solid state to a liquid state. So melted, again, we all, always refer melting with um, melting of heart, uh, probably something that is rigid and we are making it soft. So uh, that's when we use melted in when we are talking about figurative use of melted. So let's, I hope it is, the passage is clear, it talks about how dem in democracy people have the power but people uh, do not think that they have power. Uh, so a successful democracy is where, like one of Switzerland is where everyone abides by us, uh, by every single rule. Um, it also speaks about how we choose our candidates, how we choose to vote and uh, how we should vote, okay. So that's all it is, a very simple passage, very straightforward passage. Let's go to the questions. What do the questions say? Which of the following is supposed to be the most relevant duty of the state? Which of the following is supposed to be the most relevant duty of the state? To ensure sovereignty of the region, to ensure prosperity of a region, to look after the welfare of its people, to develop better terms with other nation. Okay, of a state. Okay, we are talking about a state. Now, the basic reason, even if we are so what is the function of a, or the most relevant duty of the state? The most relevant would be to look after, even if we apply common sense as well, it is to look after the welfare of people. It is not to have a good foreign relationship or it is not uh, 
uh, to look after the prosperity of the region most relevant would be to look after the welfare of the people okay so the right answer should be option three why does a person changing his party find it hard to get re-elected in a mature democracy in mature democracies why do does he find it hard to uh, get re-elected because political parties suspect his fidelity because he loses his what is the meaning of fidelity faithfulness so because political parties suspect his fidelity no the political party in democracy political parties have nothing to do with his faithfulness because he loses his image in the political circle again political circle not really something that uh, people are will be choosing and it, it's not just about the political party because his eligibility for fighting elections get questioned again no because he has to depend upon the stand of his new party no none of these would be the right answer okay moving on to the next question what is the basic difference between democracy and colonial rule it is clearly stated that in democracy people pre will prevail whereas in colonial rule uh, rulers will prevail uh, it was discussed in the very first few lines if you look at it over here in colonial administration the government was different from that of the people those government ruled without the consent or concurrence of concurrence of the people why not four okay what is the question why does a person changing his party find it hard to get re-elected in a mature democracy okay now if you look at it the answer is given right here they do not trust him for the stand firm by his policy to stand firm by his policies and programs proposed by him okay so people do not trust uh, a person like that in a mature democracy okay in a mature democracy a person who changes his party's affiliation or crosses the floor seldom gets re seldom gets re-elected uh, re okay that's why not for next one Okay, Anil, I don't know if this is the one you were talking about or the previous one. This one is pretty obvious, isn't it? When we are talking about democracy and colonial rule, what is the difference? Democracy is, we have all read it that it is by the people, for the people, of the people. So that's why it should not be, uh, that's why it is the, uh, it's very obvious, okay? And colonial, they do not uh, consent with the public. They do not take consent of the public. It's not a whatever decisions they make is solely based on what do they think okay so it's not people's opinion at all all right uh, moving on to the next question if the people want to have a responsible government in a democracy if people want to have a responsible government what should they do they must call for free and fair election they should take charge of the election they should elect educated and experienced representative they should look for single party rule they should elect desirable candidate if people want to have a responsible government what should they do the whole passage is about how we should be very careful in choosing the right person to represent us right so it should be option five they should elect desirable candidates okay the one that they desire they should elect them okay they should elect educated and experienced representative that is per your personal opinion that see what uh, the questions that are asked are solely best based on the passage so make sure that you understand what the question is and in what context of the passage are we referring to the entire passage revolves around how we choose bad leaders and how uh, we uh, even the educated choose bad leaders and why do they choose bad leaders uh, uh, and finally how do we suffer because of it so the whole passage is about we should select uh, uh, sorry we should elect people who we think are desirable okay or okay desirable in any case in case of experience in case of education in case of um, whether we like them or not so it should be option five and not educated and experienced representative that also comes into picture but the passage according to the passage this is not what we are talking about okay so those questions are done let's look at the words of the passage concurrence what is the meaning of concurrence it means conquer what um, do you conquer what is the meaning it means 
agreement okay same uh, meaning okay so is it satisfaction is it agreement participation loyalty dependence it is agreement so we when it said if you look at the statement it says without the consent and concurrence of the people okay so without the agreement of the people okay next fraternity fraternity is it a society is it a group is it a background ethnicity or brotherhood it's not society groups it's not groups it's not background it's not ethnicity it's brotherhood so it's it is basically it's not groups it is a it is a group of people sharing the same interest or uh, having same kind of profession it can be any of it okay so people having a common interest okay people sharing common interest is brotherhood uh, is fraternity oblivious you have to now choose the word opposite to it oblivious means I think you must be very familiar with the word I think I've discussed this word very often and it is a very common word as well Oblivious means something that is not known, okay, uh, unknown, okay, or unaware of, unaware of is also fine. So, if you are oblivious to something, you are unaware. So, what will be the opposite of it? Aware. Bemoan, the word itself has moan in it, that means it has to do with something with sorrow or suffering or uh, weeping or sadness, any of these. So, it is definitely a negative word, so the opposite would be praising right so lord is a word which means praise someone all right so that is it for the reading comprehension now we are we are moving to the next section the second last section uh, where we will be doing dealing with yes we are dealing with uh, sentence correction not sentence correction phase a uh, phrase or idiomatic correction okay so let's look at the instructions quickly so that we can start solving the question in each sentence below word or group of words have been printed in bold from the five answers choose given below each sentence from the five answers choices answer choices given below each sentence pick out the one which can substitute the bold word or words correctly without changing the meaning of the sentence disputes are mainly maintained by those who are nothing else to do who are nothing else to do even if I mean anyone can solve this who have nothing else to do okay because we are talking about an action okay work so it cannot be are it has to be have who have nothing else to do all right moving on to the next question every one of us must have experienced how people have to put up with a good deal of discomfort while traveling have to put up with a good deal of what would be the right answer for this one is it correct okay have to put up is just bear bear something okay i have to put up with uh, the excessive noise every day or something like that okay so i have to put up with with is also fine a good deal of again a good deal of a great deal of both means a large amount of okay so i have to put up oh sorry how people have to put up with a good deal of so it is absolutely fine no corrections required at all moving on to the next one initially the hijackers seemed determined not to submit but ultimately they were given in now I think we have discussed this phrase as well before given what is the meaning of given given means to surrender or to yield okay so um, the most common example that I always think of when we I mean I don't know where else you have heard it but there's this advertisement of uh, engaged deodorant given to the temptation they say give in to the temptation that means yield or surrender to the temptation okay so give in means to surrender okay ultimately they gave in now since that is used in the past form ultimately they determined initially the hijackers were not deter determined not to submit but ultimately they gave in option two next one the social workers has championed the cause from the weak and oppressed for the last four decades 
the social worker has championed the cause from now definitely i'm not, i'm i can see it it is very obvious and i'm sure that you can see it too that has championed the cause from the weak and oppressed is not the right preposition that we should use since it is social worker singular has is fine championed is fine the cause is fine the cause of the weak and oppressed for the last four decades for 40 years so ha okay now again has was fine until i saw this for the last four decades okay now for the last four de decades is a duration and it, it shows that it is still going on right for the last four decades that means it should be in the present perfect continuous form right so the social workers ha a social worker has been championing very important the cause of the cause of so first one is fine all right it shows that when we say things like uh, has been doing for past four decades or uh, uh, since thursday it shows that the action is still in play okay still at play and that means it's still going on it's still happening okay so the, for the past four decades i have been teaching okay so basically it means that the action is still going on so you'll use present perfect continuous tense for that okay all right next one he claims that his proposal is preferable than that of any other employee he claims that his proposal is preferable than that of any employee any other employee okay is it correct or is it wrong is it rightly used it is is it inappropriately used so is there a correction required no correction required what is it no corrections required he claims that his proposal is preferable than that of so for comparison he is using preferable than that of any other employee so it is absolutely fine no correction required over here all right okay we'll quickly uh, look at the last two of this section our business firms were full aware of the problem they were going to face on the threshold of the two of the year 2000 we do not say full aware we say fully aware okay fully we will use adverb fully not full aware okay like i gave you for bad and badly here as well it should be fully aware okay so our firms were fully aware of second one now let's go to the last one the economic reforms initiated in 1991 have borne fruits have borne fruit have borne fruit as in have shown a positive rise as in has proved to be productive proven to be productive were fully aware of and here no corrections required the the economic reforms that was initiated in 1991 now ha they have uh, from the time of initiation till now now they have finally borne fruit okay all right now the last section that we will be dealing with is parajumbles so i will give you the parajumbles you quickly have to tell me which one would be the initiation or, or the initiating statement and then we will follow from there onwards okay so quickly go through it and give me the order it's a very simple parajumble passage okay Statement A, economic historians have famously called this divergence in economic fortunes between the West and the East as the Great Divergence. Over the years, many of them, again, okay, I'm not saying anything. All right, many of them have also put forward a variety of theories to explain the phenomenon. Until the Industrial Revolution of the late 18th century, much of the world enjoyed similar standards of living that barely kept people from dying of starvation 
In other words, most of the world was e equally poor until the Industrial Revolution pushed some countries on the path of high econ economic growth while others were left behind in abject poverty. In particular, it was countries in the Western Europe like England that witnessed rapid improvement in the living standards of the people, of their people. So which one would be the starting statement? Okay, in other words, in particular, over the years, many of them, uh, economic historians have famously called this divergence. Now, none of, all of these are referring to something that lays prior to them okay so definitely these statement would not be the starting statement c however until the industrial revolution it introduces the topic of industrial revolution of the late 18th century much of the world enjoyed until that happened much of the world enjoyed standard of living that barely kept people from dying of starvation so c is definitely the starting statement now in other words most of the world was equally poor until this time, living standard of the people from dying of starvation was almost everyone. So in other words, we are explaining the same scenario. The world was equally poor until, until uh, the Industrial Revolution pushed some countries on the path of high economic growth while others were left behind in abject poverty. So D will be the next statement. In particular, now which countries prospered and which countries were uh, moving to poverty? In particular, it was the countries in Western Europe like England that witnessed rapid improvement of living standards of their people. So E becomes the next statement. Now which statement comes next? Which would be the mandatory pair for E? Uh, in particular it was countries like England. Okay, let's see which, uh, which statement is relatable to this one. Over the years many of them uh, who are we referring to as them have also put forward a variety of theories to explain the phenomena now again we do not know what phenomena or, or to explain again vague not definitely not the mandatory pair for e economic historians okay have famously called this divergence which divergence this divergence between the west and the east the great divergence yes a should be the next statement and finally we will have b so the order will be c d e a b all of you got it shubham you're right anil you're right moving to the questions now you just have to arrange it in proper order which one you just have to tell which one will come where fourth which one is the fourth statement a is the fourth statement which one is the first we clearly stated that c is the first statement which one is the second after C? The mandatory pair is D. Uh, which one is the fifth statement? The last statement is the last statement is B. Which of the following is the third? Third is after C, D, E. E is the next statement. So this brings us to the end of today's session. Um, I had a wonderful time explaining the questions that you had as well as these were also pretty good questions. We have discussed a lot today. So I hope you take a lot from this. I hope you learn something new. And with that hope, I will be winding up the session now. So have a happy weekend, all of you. And like I keep saying, stay persistent, keep exercising, keep practicing and you will definitely see results in front of you so please make sure that you practice as many questions as possible and if you have any doubts you know where to post your questions i will see you guys again next saturday till then if there's nothing else i would like to take a leave